Hi guys, so in this video I am going to be showing you my portfolio that I used for getting into university. So it's my college portfolio, so I could use that to move up to university. So I'm sorry if there's going to be really really weird lighting. First of all, before we start, this tripod that I'm using has suffered a blow and it's the main tripod I use to film my videos on and the blow is this lever and it and it's really really handy to uh, make the tripod's uh, head go up and down so I can't adjust the height of my camera so I'm so so sorry but yeah blame this okay so I'm so sorry about the lighting on some of my artwork I think it's really really bad basically I'm filming in my sister's room because my sister's room has a bit of space for me to film whereas my room is in a bit of a state at the moment with all the art materials and all the college work around because I've literally just finished a couple of projects so let's get started first off I have my fantasy artwork, so I'm trying to straighten up the camera. Okay, so you've already seen this in my fantasy art sketchbook, but I put them into A3 pages and then cut them up into like viewable things. Some of these are also on my show board as well. So yeah, perspective drawing. You can actually see the light in this one. Okay, so here's pictures of my own work. So most of this is like gonna be college work, but I wanted a couple of pages to be my own work. So there's Melissa and Loki as mermaids. And if you notice, there is no line art. This is line, lineless artwork. Which I very rarely do, but I do like doing lineless artwork. So, from my Juvia video. Yeah. What's ironic is my sister reads loads and loads of books, and this is a picture of a fairy tale character, and there's a fairy tale book right there. Oh, Sonia and her lover books. This is that painting that I did. The real life version is a bit more purple. This one just looks like it's pink all over. And then there's that curly waves. Yeah, I think that one's called curly waves. And then there's Rinokumara from my I Know Exorcist video. My five marker challenge of the worst witch, Mildred Hubble. And this is a drawing I did in December, which I was really, really happy with. I did it on the 25th of December, so I did it on Christmas Day with my new Copics at the time, and I love it. This is my, um, well, I call the drawing and the final, like, the umbrella boat. And it's so pretty. It's also lineless as well, if you look. I just love the way it came out. It just came out so pretty. The only thing I really don't like about this piece of artwork is the fact that the the background of this isn't in perspective with how you're looking at the drawing. But perspective is something that I've got to uh, learn. So as an illustrator, or as in I'm going into illustration, I've had to... Um, just do some studies of life drawing and yes I was tossed into the deep end straight away with that <laughs> straight away and I'm not gonna lie to you it was a bit awkward but since everyone was there to do their own same thing with life drawing it it's really really easy to just lose the whole 
oh, this is a naked body standing in front of me and I've got to draw it. It's more like, this is an object, you have to draw it. Just, just have that mindset and you're just fine. So, here's my Boots Botanics work. And I named this character Bubble because the brand name I created for this project was Bubble Bee. I just really, really like the concepts for Bubble. I think it's really, really cute. Oh. See, I'm like all the little cute little things. My theme, because this was a Boots Botanics project, we had to design and create labels for like a Boots Botanics range because boring, boring Boots Botanics labels that we have now are boring. So the digital process of two of them. This is a watercolour, this isn't a photograph, this is a watercolour I did of some lemons and that took like two days. <sighs> but I'm so happy with the way the labels came out. It's just so cute. Look, Boots Botanics, the power of plants. My target audience was uh, children, so that's why I chose to do like a little character because I thought it would be really, really adorable. <sighs> now in this project, this project was called The Bear Project because it was to do with bear alphabites. And we had to create a pack back, which is basically the back of the cereal box. And we also had to create a quiz card, which I did down here. Yeah, so. I chose the theme of stars. They already had a theme of space, but I really, really wanted to do like a space kind of theme. So I chose stars instead and just added a few more facts that they didn't add on the first one. And I did loads of different experimentation for that. And I did illuminated letters. I also did a lot of experimentation. These are acrylic paint galaxies and these are my experimentations with watercolour and salt so you can kind of see how it creates a really really pretty effect here's my quiz card now this project I had to design skateboards and my theme I decided on castles so I researched certain castles <sighs> I don't know why I'm out of breath today. I just am. Um, it's it's quite warm in this house, so that's probably why. Um, so yeah, here's my final skateboard. I can't turn it around, which I'm so sad about. But yeah, here is my final skateboard. And we also had to do them in primary, secondary, tertiary, complementary and analogous because this project was also a colour theory project and that's where I learnt all my colour theory to do with my characters. This is my steampunk project and these drawings from my steampunk project are available in a video. Hopefully I will link all the videos that I've done of my college projects on my channel in the description. So yeah, all the headshots that I did. My teacher did tell me off because I did them in Prismacolor Cola Rays pencil and they were like, no, you should have done it in lead pencil. This was my portraits project and I had to do portraits, obviously. This portrait looks better when you're slanted, but obviously when it's slanted, it's like, it's really really bad. This was a portrait back in 2013 because back in 2013 I just started this course. Oh my god. I find it hilarious with this project that my camera is having a, having a whale of a time doing face recognition. <sighs> so 
those are my minute sketches so I showed two minutes three minutes and five minutes sketches of my eye and my mouth you can see crooked smile yep yeah, because I've always had quite a crooked smile back then it has improved this is a picture of my sister from behind here's a collage of one of the pictures I took from my dad's wedding and then there's the thumbnails for what we had to do and it was a CD cover that we had to do in that design so yeah even more sketches so basically this is like real life kind of thing and this took forever this is a picture of me in the style of micography and micography is all words it's really irritating my teacher had a go at me because she she said oh you should do it all in pen I'm like how am I supposed to build up tone and layers and all that lot like, with just pen so I use pen and pencil here's another collage I like this one better so I used it for my final this was my CD case these are the outside outside ones and these like these two they fold inwards to create the CD cover so that's the end of my portfolio I didn't really have much because I had to cobble this together really really quickly for my university interviews I hope you enjoyed this video see you next time guys bye